let's let's watch this trailer again, shall we? Okay. All right, let's do it. Um. Man. You know, say what you will, but that little opening Breath of the Wild, like, do 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 do, gives you the chills, doesn't it? Mm hmm. So, one thing that I really loved from the first Breath of the Wild was that big mural that they did. Um, yeah. And, and, you know, I'm going to pause it right here. This definitely, this guy right here, I mean, that dude looks kind of like a, like a Ganondorf kind of guy, does he not? Like, it doesn't look like Link, does it? No, I don't think it's Link, and I think it could be, I think it could be Ganondorf, and I have to remind myself that in the big, the OG mural from Breath of the Wild, the hero and, like, the only thing that really looks like who it's supposed to look like is the princess, but the hero kind of yeah. looks a little funky, and, I mean, obviously Calamity Ganon, so this to me, I'm, it doesn't scream Ganondorf right away, but, like, I can see it. I, I could also see, a, like, some type of wizard type, like Vadi. Um, or Yuga because of the, the paintings under the eyes. Oh, but I, what I think is important is how different the art style is in this mural than our mural from uh, totally. Breath of the Wild because it looks ancient. And you know what, actually? It was years ago ancient. We do have this guy here, but there's also like six more of them over here on the side. Yeah. Um, so, mm -hmm. so people listening on, um, on podcast forum. Uh, so we are watching the breath. The, I was going to say the breath of the wild two trailer. We're watching the tears of the kingdom trailer. Um, and we're pausing at 19 seconds and we're going to pick it back up right now. This is actually kind of dark. You could see like the dead soldiers in mm -hmm. between the moblins and the Bogoblins. So this, I don't know. What do you make of this? Looks like some kind of like goddess or monster or something like that. So this is like this is definitely Princess Zelda. So we're stopping at thirty three seconds. Three, four, five, six, seven. There were seven like kind of crystal things around him. So he's doing some type of ritual. Maybe you have to collect those, right, to keep them from him. But yeah, you got Zelda looking like she's being ritualized for some reason. <laughs> ritualized. <Is it? laughs> Again, this looks like an ancient art piece. So yeah. is it is it our Zelda or is it like a past princess or past Zelda? Um, let's, uh, let's keep it going here and, uh, let's, let's hit play. So we're at 34 seconds, 35. Um, so we see Zelda kind of making the little heart thing in her hands with someone. That is a mystery. And here we go. It's Link. Oh yeah. He's got the Sheikah shield on. He's running. Now, important to point out that this is regular Link as we know him from Breath yes. of the Wild. Yeah. Um, so he's got the champion's tunic, he's got the long, kind of shaggy hair, but not as long as we've seen in previous trailers here. Um, I will say, like, it looks like he, he combined his champion's tunic with, like, the, the cold tunic. Uh, yeah, I was gonna know? say, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so Link is, he's diving off, uh, Hyrule, he's diving into the clouds. We, it's definitely, like, some Skyward Sword vibes here, eh? Yep. This is a pretty cool shot. There's, but it's like huge too. Like, look how far yeah. from the ground it is. So, um, so this is pretty cool. We've got Link kind of jumping on a rock, and it looks like it's being taken up via stasis because everything yeah. around it is gray. And I don't know if that's because of stasis or if that's because of like the environment or something like that. But uh, it looks like you're gonna have stuff that's going up to the sky and then falling back down. So yeah. that's pretty cool. Um, so let's keep playing here. Look at that. You can see the this shot looks awesome. So we're paused at one minute in this trailer. And you'll notice that Link is in his, let's call it it's the like a, the shaggy looking version of Link. Yeah. With the different kind of tunic. Kind looking. Yeah. Um, I was watching. That's a, such a cool shot though. Oh man. I was watching Avatar the other night. And uh, you know the scene where like they go up to where the Banshees are and they're climbing the vines and like they, they got a like get their banshee or whatever i don't know if you've seen avatar in a long time but uh this this reminds me of that about, like yeah. climbing up uh climbing yeah. up that cliff looks very very the cool trees and the waterfalls and stuff yeah. yes so link is climbing and now link is falling and again we've switched back to uh Can you stop it at 103 yeah you betcha this, uh, okay, so we're gonna go back so... to 103 you can see the castle being raised by that red energy in the background. Yes, so there's a big crater where the castle was. We can see Death Mountain, um, and Look we at can that see huge island in the sky. Yeah, tons of tons of islands floating in the sky, and uh, it looks like 
So it looks like this is clearly going to be the big gimmick of this game is like all the floating land or whatever around. Um, I don't see any towers or shrines in the distance here, but uh, that's that's not really anything. They could obviously be hiding anywhere. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's that big mofo thing in the in the sky right here. Yeah. wonder what that is. Interesting. So we are paused at 103, and we're going to play for a quick second and pause it again at 105, because Link is falling from the sky. And by the way, Link is back in his... Um, he's Champions back in his tunic. Champion's Tunic. And he's landing on a little flying platform, which yeah. is kind of cool. Little, uh, Wait, little taxi service. Um, so there's... And there's a couple markings on the, the rock like as the well. Rock. Yeah. I don't know what's up with that. But it, it kind of looks like the markings from the mural, does it not? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's all green and glowy and swirly. Very interesting. This looks like it's right next to... Um... Gerudo. No. Well, it's more north of Gerudo. It's like, um, like the Tabitha Bridge. That's where it is. You can yeah, see yeah. The, the area table. just north of Gerudo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, that big outcropping, I'm pretty sure that is where Atalus is. <laughs> well, if anyone's going to know that, Al... <laughs> leader of the talus gem all right let's keep going here um okay so we've got this green swirly stuff that's floating around and that's the trailer so um legend of zelda tears of the kingdom so f first of all let's talk about this tears of the kingdom name do we like that name wait hold on um if you look at the background mural remember how you were like zelda's making the heart shape with her hand with somebody it looks like that ganondorf looking or what we are assuming is ganondorf or the wizard looking yeah figure you're from right the very beginning. you're right and they also like two of those little um gems that i'm assuming is what they are are floating above them so did they have like a pact in the past or something like a truce i mean i'm not i'm not ruling anything out so I want to, uh, you know, let's actually just talk about this first because I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not like, uh, completely dismayed, but I, I still am a little bit frustrated because I feel like I still don't know what the hook of this game is. Like, I, I feel like I still don't know, like, are we traveling back in, in the past? Like, so we can see from the logo here that the, you know, we all knew that the first half of the master sword was kind of like scraggly and eroded and stuff like that. And the second, the bottom half of it looks like it's made up of, it almost looks like that stuff from the Twilight Realm. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. I, I like I, I do feel a little bit frustrated that, that we still like don't know like the big hook or the big crux or the big story of this game. And I, I I'm feeling like it's getting a little bit harder to get into this game still, even though like so the game is about what nine months away now. Uh, eight months away, and, like, I still don't know a lot of things about it, but, um, you know, wait, at least we got the title. I'll take that. I, you know what, I'm not, I, once again, am not reacting like you at all. I feel, like, very sated and very excited. I, like, this is kind of rejuvenating something for me, and okay. they gave us a title, which I think is so funny that they were like, oh, it's gonna be a spoiler for the game. We still have no idea what the heck that means. Well, that's what I wanted <laughs> to talk about next, is like, uh, so first of all, Tears of the Kingdom, kind of a weird title. Uh, but yeah, I'll, we'll get used to it, obviously, right? I think we're just mm -hmm. so used to calling it Breath of the Wild 2. But like, I don't know, man. This doesn't seem like a spoiler to me. Unless they just changed that title. They were like, you know what? Let's let's not call it Zelda and Ganon work together, and let's instead call it uh, just call it uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, I I don't know, but um, I'm really glad they gave us a title. I feel very excited and very, like the flame from like that. We were talking about you know the fire has gone out for this game. I feel like it's back on. Um, I feel like there's a lot to analyze that they gave us. Yes, we still don't know the hook of the game. We still don't know the story. We still don't know exactly what's going on. But it gives us enough. And they gave us, you know, like their their um, they finally gave us a, a date, which I was completely shocked that they were gonna, that they did because I right. I didn't think they would at all. Which means we finally have a marketing window window. Which means in the next how did you say it's eight months? I don't want to do that. I, I think but, about that. September to May is about eight months. 
for the next eight months, it's finally we're getting out of this drought season. That's what this tells me. You know what I mean? You know, uh, I, I, see, I see where you're coming from. I definitely um, think that there's merit to that. I will say that I think this is probably the start. So, like, now that we know it, now that we have a date, now that it's eight months away, we're going to get more. Like, we're, we're going to get yes. more. Um, probably not. Well, I you know, I could actually maybe see it showing up at the Game Awards. I was just going to say the same thing. Yeah. But probably not until, like, the next Nintendo Direct, which we're assuming maybe is in February, is when we're going to get something... Um, you know, I feel like that's way too far away. Uh, it something. might be. It might be. Yeah. But um, yeah. So like, I I just I feel like this is the uh, I feel like this is the start. But I I still do feel like I need to be sold a little bit on this game. Like, what is the game about? Like, because it it to me it just my own messed up uh, view here. But like, even with the sky and stuff like that, like it it does look very similar to the first Breath of the Wild. So I feel like it needs a really cool story to set it apart from Breath of the Wild. And obviously we don't know anything about that story. I think it, the potential for a cool story is there. There's lots of teasing and lots of imagery and stuff like that. I just think it's like, all right, maybe we can get like a story trailer, find out what's going on here. Um, this is another, like, the, the thing that's kind of frustrated me about Breath of the Wild 2, there I go again, um, Tears of the Kingdom from its initial release is that like every trailer has been like one minute long. And we got another one minute trailer, which is certainly better than nothing. I'm not complaining, and I'm I'm happy that we got the subtitle. But I think I do need to be sold on it a little bit here. So I wouldn't say I'm like completely out of our uh, funk yet, Al. But I feel like uh, my, my cold heart is thawing a little bit. Is that a word? <laughs> thawing. Thawing. Thawing, not thawn. Yeah. <laughs> it's thawing. <laughs> All right. I don't know. But Tears of the I, Kingdom. I, I what mean, do we think of this name, by the way? Did you ever? Did you answer that? No, I am excited. I think, you know, I it's funny because when we were told Breath of the Wild, I thought that was so corny and dumb at first. I remember just thinking. Really? Yeah, but it grew on me. So that's fine. I love it now. I don't, don't get me wrong. I love that title. But at the first, I was just like, Breath of the, what? Like, this is so dumb when you've got stuff like Ocarina of Time, Majors, Mass, Twilight Prince. It just didn't fit for me, but it did fit the game. So it makes sense. Mm, yeah. This tells me... Again, I feel like I feel very strongly about the going into the 10,000 years in the past theory. We had a conversation in the Discord about somebody who doesn't like that th theory. I'm sorry. I love it. I am super excited for it, even more so after seeing this. And Tears of the Kingdom, especially seeing this image in the background, I feel like that means betrayal to me. I feel like there was a truce, there was an understanding, and then they were betrayed, and that's the Tears of the Kingdom. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what I Maybe. think it sounds yeah. good. I'm, I think that uh, the title is going to grow on me, definitely. I th I'm just excited to not call it Breath of the Wild 2, like, ever again. Um... Hey, everyone. If you enjoyed this clip and want to see more of the Zelda cast, make sure to head over to your favorite podcast platform of choice and subscribe. There are over 200 episodes in the vault that will provide you with hundreds of hours of Zelda content for you to enjoy. You can listen to us when you're on a walk, fighting Ganon, trying to sleep, whatever. And if you want to see these shows as they happen, make sure to head over to twitch.tv forward slash the ZeldaCast where you can watch our beautiful faces talk about Zelda every single week. Don't miss out, and we'll see you next time.